Women's Championship is up for grabs as Boca Raton Championship Wrestling presents another episode of Cruising for a Bruising. As always, I'm your cruise director, Neil the Heel Glazier, and this week we bring you a whole lot of women, the fabulous and fierce MJ Jenkins. Before we head down to ringside, let's check in with BRCW President and CEO, Matthew Mashler, as I have just received word that he has some breaking news. Okay. Oh, all right. Sorry to hear that. <sighs> all right, thanks, Neil. Unfortunately, the original plan was for Deanna Perrazzo, but due to a schedule conflict, she can't make it. I'm excited to announce BRCW newcomer Ruthie J will be receiving this championship opportunity. I know this match is going to be great, so let's head down to ringside. Check it out now. This next contest is scheduled for one fall. One fall. And it is for the BRCW Women's Championship. Yeah. Yeah. This is the first the emergency and could not make it down to Boca. We, we hope she's doing well. I has a speedy recovery to that, but Ruthie J stepping into those very, very large shoes and, you know, this is what the business is all about. You know, these opportunities can just happen like that.
Jenkins with some big words heading into this contest. None too pleased with the last minute change of opponents. Well, right off the bat, we got slaps and blows going from both of these opponents. Oh. Wow! Ruthie J is seizing this opportunity with gusto. Not, not wasting any time taking it to the champ here. Well, like you said, Matt, when an opportunity presents itself, you that's all it takes. Sometimes you got it's up to what you do with it. Are you going to take it and run, or are you going to let it pass you by? That's right. Oh, but MJ Jack. Oh, that! You got to be kidding me. No way. The vengeance bomb, and that's going to be it. Already, MJ showed what was up. This is her house, this is her championship. Uh-oh. Well, well, good. You know what? I mean, uh, credit to Ruthie J for bringing that fight, for coming in here, you know, straight out of the gate. Like, young prospect in this business has such a bright future, absolutely no doubt. Absolutely. And, and brought it, brought the fight to MJ. But, you know, this is MJ's territory. This is MJ Jenkins' house. This is MJ Jenkins' championship, and she made an emphatic statement to that effect right here tonight. As much as we might not like MJ Jenkins' tactics, you gotta hand it to her. She's a star, she's an alpha, and she does not let anyone get in her way. Not a newcomer, and we're just gonna have to see if her and Gianna Barraza will ever get rescheduled. Yeah, I, I hope we can have that match later down the line, you know it'll be good, because despite what MJ Jenkins might have said, I know from personal experience, MJ, the Virtuosa is afraid of no woman, no man, no wrestler. So you better have your wrestling boots on that night when that match finally does indeed happen. BRCW cruising for a bruising. I'm Samira, and I'm joined by our BRCW women's champ, MJ Jenkins. Now, MJ, you were supposed to face Deanna Perrazzo tonight, but instead got Ruthie J. Please. Don't even say that name. Don't even do it. And for one, you will address MJ as the first ever BRCW women's champion. Do you hear me? Do you understand? Not if you understand. Yeah, yeah. You see, mm -mm. as a BRCW's first ever women's champion, I am supposed to go against the very best. So where were you, Deanna? Lower the mic. It's in my face. 
So where were you, Deanna, huh? Are you afraid? The virtuosa is afraid of MJ Jenkins. Well, I don't blame you. Because if I was you, I would be afraid of me too. Because I am vicious and also Afrolicious. I'm a whole lot of woman. So any of you ladies out there think that you have what it takes to beat me, to go toe to toe with me, bring it. Because I am only accepting the best. And you need to be the best to beat me. <laughs>